All right, so this is pretty cool. Uh, today I'm going to spend some time with my brother-in-law. Uh, we traveled out to Aberdeen, and he's been working on some trackers for the past couple of years. And uh, today he's kind of showing me what he's been doing. So we're going to check that out. Uh, this is a Cub Cadet 129 Hydro. 12 horsepower Kohler in it, and the 129 models would have been early 70s, it's so like 72 through 75, I want to say. I got this uh, loader off of a Simplicity model tractor. It's for a bigger garden tractor, but I uh, kind of fabricated a base for it. All the hydraulic pumps or rods you see on here have all been replaced except this one. And you can tell this is the old one, not only by the color, but also by the leaky seal. Well, that'll be the next one that has to be replaced. It's just 12 horsepower Kohler. Uh, the only thing I really don't know about this is what size hydraulic pump is right. And someday I'd like to upgrade that. Um, most of the forums I've been on are saying anywhere from an eight to an 11 will get this thing really rocking out pretty quick. This is my pride and joy, love it. Great fun project. And uh, obviously it's got summer usages out here on the property. And I love it for snow removal at home at the house in town. So this uh, Cubs Cadet 127, also a hydro model. This one's a little bit older than the 129. This one's early 70s, so 71 through 74. It's also a 12 horsepower Kohler. And uh, I like to cobble things together. So we got this Craftsman snow plow for moving snow. Um, these models base weigh about 650 pounds. But this one, you got some added weight because we got the tiller on the back. I had good luck with is actually running a tiller. If I want to move a couple inches of soil, till it up, and then I go grab it with the bucket on the uh, on the loader tractor. Oh. The transmission on all these Cub Cadets are uh, there's no belt for the transmissions. Everything is a uh, driver. So this is a Cub Cadet 122 which is a manual transmission, unlike the 129 and 127 that are hydros. This one from the factory came with a 12 horse, and this would have been built between 67 and 71. So I actually uh, got a 10 horse power puller in here right now. But on this model, I've got a box blade that I pull in the back for grading the driveway, the gravel driveway out here. And then in the front, obviously, I got the snow blower for clearing snow out of here in the winter. To make sure I got plenty of traction and then the egg tires. Always had good luck with egg. Uh, this is a old Craftsman lawn tractor, not a garden tractor. The big difference between a lawn tractor and a garden tractor are gonna be the, uh, the transmissions and typically the frame. Cause this one came with a 12 and a half horse and got this 18 horsepower twin cylinder for, so put that in there and redid some wiring and clutch and uh, choke cables. And Tim the tool man, Taylor type stuff. Yeah, but when, when that Craftsman we just talked about broke down and when the motor went to crap, I needed to mow the lawn out here. Uh, gets the job done, mows real good. I like the manual transmissions versus the hydros because you just pick your speed and go. This one was just a, a something to do on the weekend project. I got this little lawn tractor for free uh, because the engine was blown, the guy was gonna throw it away. I chopped it up quite a bit, did a pulley swap on it. And uh, like I said, that engine was broke. Took the five horsepower push mower engine and put it in here. Um, and with the pulley swap, uh, it'll do about six or seven miles an hour with this little five horsepower. So all that you do is you just grab your cordless DeWalt drill and uh, it fires So oh, if I want it to go faster, and I do, uh, we need to get a bigger pulley under there. Actually run the pulley system above the frame to actually have that space for the large pulley. Dan shop, South Dakota. Well, this is pretty cool. 
and uh, we, we had quite a bit of fun. Um, thank, thank Dan for showing us around and showing us his cool shop out here, but I think we're gonna get going and go have some more fun. So thank you everyone. See you.